Working with familiar spirits can help to guide and open up your spell work to more powerful and aligned magic. Familiar spirits are with us to support our highest good and the highest good for our magical work. A witch familiar is a faithful companion along their spell crafting journey. Today, I'm going to take you through a ritual to find your familiar spirit or spirits. Yes, you can have more than one. Show you a divination tool and technique to use after your ritual to contact this animal spirit or guide and signs that your familiar spirit is contacting you and trying to make a connection to you. Hi, I'm Rebecca Phoenix, and I'm a magical teacher at Simple Mystic Miracles. Thank you for joining me today. If witch familiars and all things witchcraft related are your thing, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so you always hear about new witchy content coming your way. Okay, so first you're going to create a little familiar divination board. I literally just did this out of construction paper and some pen. It's very easy to make. So it's kind of like a little take on a Ouija board. So you're gonna have sections that say yes and no, and then the four different uh, types of animals, which is fur, feather, scale, and fin and then the alphabet, write out the alphabet, and then the numbers zero through nine. So I also decorated it with these cute little um, cat <laughs> some uh, pictures here that I got out of a magazine. I just wanted to decorate it with cats because I love cats. I feel like those are definitely my familiars. Um, but you can do whatever you want, get creative, decorate it how you want. And while you're creating it, remember to hold your intention that this divination board is going to help you to contact a, your familiar spirit. And we are gonna be using a pendulum with this uh, divination board. So make sure you have your pendulum with you. Okay, next we're going to set up an altar for our familiar spirit ritual. So we're going to place four different candles on each corner and these are going to light the way for the four different environments and four different types of animals. So we have shell and rock and leaf and sand and so that's for the four different environments that the familiars could possibly live in. And then we're going to have symbols for the four different types of animals that could possibly be our familiar. So I have fins here. These are literally just for cupcake decorations. So it's just a symbol. So pick something that symbolizes that for you. And then I have kitty fur here. This is my cat's fur. I asked her permission before if I could use it for um, magic work before I took it from her. So remember to ask permission. We always want to be courteous of our animals as well. And then some feathers to represent feathers, obviously. And then I have these little jewels that represent scales. So I was having a hard time finding scales. So I just have little jewels that represent that. Again, it's just to symbolize it. Plus they look really pretty and sparkly. So it's a nice little addition to the familiar altar. So now that we've created our altar for our ritual, now we are going to light our candles to light the way for whatever familiar spirit is trying to contact us or trying to connect to us to become a part of our magical journey and our magical work. So lighting candles always helps to guide the energy towards us. So we're going to light one for each environment and each type of animal. And remember to have your divination board near your altar as well. So we're going to be really charging it with that intent to connect to our familiar spirit. Okay, so step three is going to be to perform the ritual. So to start to perform the ritual, we're going to call on a deity or an angel. You can call on Hecate or Artemis or Archangel Ariel. They are all lovers and protectors of pets and familiars, and you can ask them to help guide your familiar to you. So say something like this is just an example. You could call on Hecate and say, Hecate, queen of the witches and lover of canines, Please help to guide my familiar spirit towards me. Whatever familiar spirit is seeking to help me and support my magic and loves to do their own witchcrafting, please help to guide them towards me to support my magical work. Whichever familiar may be in my highest good and the highest good of them, so mote it be. So this is an example of something that you could say. Please just speak from your heart and ask whoever you feel called to help support your journey to finding your familiar spirit. And the next part of the ritual is going to be to do a visualization or meditation. So if you would like, you can stare at your altar and the beautiful candlelights and just soften your eyes a bit or you can close your eyes while you're in front of your altar and you can go through this meditation and just listen to my voice as I guide you through this. So you're going to take three deep 
breaths in to center and ground yourself first. So take these deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose, putting the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So deep breath in one, deep breath in two, deep breath in three. And when you feel centered and grounded, you're just going to imagine a door in front of you. Just use your visualization and imagination to see a door in front of you. Once you've seen that door, you are going to then open the door and walk through that door. And as you walk through that door, you see a path in front of you and you start to walk down that path. And as you walk down that path, you notice that you are in whatever environment you're familiar may be from. So let that environment really show you and take you on this exploration. So what does this environment feel like? See it, taste it, smell it. Let the familiar's energy be what guides you through this environment. Just notice everything around you and really sense what this familiar spirit could be based on the environment that you're in. And then you're going to see a familiar spirit come from out of somewhere, out of hiding. Notice them come out of hiding and start to trust you and get curious about you as well. What do they look like? What do they sound like? What do they feel like, smell like? Make contact with them, asking permission first, if you can make contact, and then approach them, ask them their name, ask them any other questions you may have, and then ask them to join you on your magical path really feel this connection and this bond to this familiar spirit and then ask them if they would come back with you back out into the physical world to help assist you in your magic and you're going to walk back down the path together and through the door okay and once you're done with your meditation for step four we are going to do our divination with our familiar divination board so you're going to want to keep this near your altar so that it's supporting the energy of your divination and you're going to take your pendulum above your board and you're going to stabilize it first and you're going to create a relationship with your pendulum too so really feeling when your pendulum is pulling towards a certain area because we are just going to go across our familiar divination board until we feel like the pendulum is pulling in a certain direction. We're going to let the pendulum guide our hand and guide us. You can feel it's almost like a magnet. It starts to draw towards something if you really get in tune with it. And then it'll start to take off. It'll start to circle, which is really wild because if you take it off of that spot, it will just stop circling. So you're going to ask it different questions as you let it guide you across the board. So you can ask questions like, What's the name of your familiar? What's the species, the color? Have you made contact with your animal spirit already? Or are they already in your life? Are they your current fur baby? Where can you find them if you haven't made contact with them yet? So these are just suggestions of questions that you can ask. You're gonna let your pendulum guide you through to answer these different questions. So for your final step of your ritual, you're going to leave an offering for your familiar spirit, whatever you think they may like. So I have a little kitty toy here, a little kitty ball, because again, I love felines as my familiars. So I'm going to leave them a cute little toy, but whatever, it could be some pieces of food. It could be anything that you think that your familiar spirit may enjoy. Okay, so after you're done with this ritual and divination, you're going to look out for signs to see if you've been contacted by your familiar spirit. So signs to look out for are new animal beings coming into your life out of the blue, dreams about certain animals over and over again, seeing certain animal symbols or animals over and over over, 
hearing animal noises like a bark or a meow that's like out of nowhere that doesn't really make sense like to be in your neighborhood or out of your home feeling a familiar's energy reach out to you one of your current fur babies starts to want to be around you all of the time while you perform your spell work or during your spell work or meditation visions of a certain animal come to you so these are all signs that a familiar spirit may be trying to contact you and then the next step to take after you're done with this ritual of trying to contact your familiar spirit would be to check out our blog to find out how to create a sacred spirit house for your familiar so that you can build a strong magical relationship with them there are also tons of other magical goodies linked below as well also remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you always catch our latest witchy content thank you so much for joining me today in this wonderful familiar spirit ritual it was such an honor blessed be